So it's time to start wiring up our keyboards um, and there's a couple of ways we could do it. Uh, we could have a different colour for every note. So we could have one colour for the C's, one colour for the D's and so on. Um, or we could do it all in, in one single colour. Um, in my case I've got lots of black, that's a 100 metre reel, uh, but the other colours um, are almost run out, you can probably see. Uh, or we could use this ribbon cable, um, but the problem with this is it's designed to work really with these IDC connectors. Um, IDC is Insulation Displacement Connector, and the idea is that you put the cable through the gap and then you squash the thing together and it forces those little pins through the insulation of the cable. Um, and, and they work really well and they're reliable but if you try and solder this stuff what tends to happen is the heat from the soldering iron makes the plastic melt and it kind of runs away back down the cable um, so they're a bit awkward um, to, to solder and also the wire inside is very very thin so it doesn't give a, a particularly satisfactory joint they tend to break off and um, I don't know, I just never get on with it very well, so I, I'm not going to use that, uh, that way of doing it at all. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this black cable, so everything's going to be wired in black. Um, that gives us a little bit more work because at the end of it we need to um, just trace through which cables go to where. But we've got our test meter which we used earlier and there's only going to be 12 note cables from, um, from our keys. So we've got C through to uh, B at the other end of the octave and then we've got our 5 or in fact 6 because there's a C on its own at the end. We've got our 6 octave wires so we've only got 18 wires that are going to come out of this thing anyway um, and we can easily trace those through with the meter. So that's what I'm going to get on with now and we'll come back and have a look at it when I've got a few wires on.